Do you ever feel like you're getting bullied or attacked on social media, work, school, or even life? Hello, my name is Josh Nichols, and this is Monday Minute, the internet's favorite one-minute Bible study. If you're new here, we're going all the way from Genesis through Revelation, so go check out some of the previous videos, and if you enjoy, consider subscribing. But it looks to be about that time to get your week started off with some of that New Testament encouragement. Come on! Let's get started. Last week we talked that being a Christian wasn't always easy, and this week we're going to continue that discussion in 2 Corinthians. Paul was writing this letter to the church at Corinth, a church that he had previously founded, and well, things just weren't going too great there. In fact, his name was being slandered, and people were even arguing that he wasn't an apostle of Christ. Basically, in modern day terms, they were throwing some major shade. Let's go ahead and turn our Bibles to chapter 12, verse 9 and 10, where it tells us, And he said to me, My grace is sufficient for you, for my strength is made perfect in weakness. Therefore, most gladly, I will rather boast in my infirmities that the power of Christ may rest upon me. Therefore, I take pleasure in infirmities, in reproaches, in needs, in persecutions, in distress, for Christ's sake. For when I am weak, then I am strong. One main thing that we have to remember as Christians is that we are ambassadors of Christ. No matter what situation that we're facing, whether we're being bullied or attacked, we need to remember that even in our weakness, God's strength can be magnified in us. We just need to change our attitudes to understand that God is bigger than our problems. Thank you for joining this week's Monday Minute. It's time for the question of the week. And the question is, uh, what is the situation that you have overcome like this? How have you overcome being bullied in your day-to-day life? If you've gone through something like this, I would love to rejoice in you overcoming it. And I think it would be great encouragement to others who are facing that today. So let us know down in the comments of ways you've overcome these situations. And don't forget to tune in next week where we'll be in the book of Galatians. But until then, don't you give up. I'm serious. No, no, you. Don't you give up. Stay strong. We can do this together. Come on, peace!